uh, welcome to this channel once more again. My name is Jackson, and I'm a targeted individual for the past 20 years. Um, today, I just want to talk to you about uh, uh, illegal uh, brain data trafficking uh, by the torture to the victim. Well, as you know that uh, this imaging technology uh, uh, that involves neural technology is capable you know, of reading your thoughts and uh, whatever you think, then uh, it will reflect on a monitor, you know, on the person who is monitoring you. And uh, what he is so sad is that he, those people you know, who are perpetrators, you know, they have no conscience. So in fact, since uh, this technology, it's audible to the community, you know, uh, therefore they are able you know to, to you know to to share your intimate thoughts so you know uh, these people they have no conscience whatsoever so in fact they can just share your intimate thought with the public out there you know without even thinking uh, what kind of humiliation you know you will go through once they do this because it is so humiliating and so embarrassing, you know, that what you are thinking that you don't want to share with anybody, then somebody just, you know, share it with people out there. So in fact, what happens is that you are, you are even unable, you know, to, 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 you know, to ask somebody out when it comes to relationship. Because whatever we do with humans, you know, we have to think, we have to plan. You have to sit down and plan. You can't just go out there, you know, and just you know start talking from without. So you have to think. So in fact, what they do is that you know, since you know they can read your thoughts, you know, they they will start communicating what you are thinking. Then they will tell even that person you want you know to to talk to that no, this guy is thinking about this and this and this, and it's audible even to you. Then you know you just become embarrassed and then you will froze. So you won't do anything. So this is the kind of life, you know, that the victims go through always. You know? And these guys, they don't have any, they don't have any conscience whatsoever. So they can just say anything, whatever you are thinking there. And you know, they, they you know, they do this, uh, probably. So in fact, you know, this, this, you know, it's it's very very bad. You know, just imagine, you know, to to. to to hack somebody's brain and then you know you read your thoughts and they then you know they share these thoughts in the community this guy is thinking about this and this and this and you know whatever you know they are monitoring me whatever reason they are monitoring me before you know these people they have good right you know to share stuff like that maybe if I was a threat to the community, maybe if I'm thinking of doing something harmful to somebody, maybe even that way they don't have any right, you know, to evade my privacy like that. That is no way. You know, that's why I'm so against this cyber psychological torture. You see, uh, it's very difficult because. Whenever you even start thinking, or you want to, you want to think, you know, it, it's more like you are blackmailed because you know that whatever I'm going to think, this thing, whatever I am thinking, will be shared with somebody, and you know, in the community there, and you know, this is very, very, very bad, and it's always let me down. You know, I cannot do. I'm not free to do anything, or to say anything. Just imagine, you know, for a, for 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 a human. As you know that in Namibia, you know, democracy, as for me, I grew up in democracy because when we got independent, you know, I was 14 years old, which means the first election in 1989, I didn't vote because I was a minor. But the next election I voted, which was in, in 19, 1994, 
was the, the first election was in 1999. So in fact, I grew up with this democracy at the free speech. So these are the things that I grew up with. So I, I don't know how to keep quiet about this thing. But when it comes, you know, to a human right, because everybody have got the right to free speech and they have got the right, you know, to to their personal opinion. So as for that, me, I don't have the right to my own personal opinion. Because whatever I talk in, in, in privacy, even what I discuss with my friends and so, so on, they go there and they broadcast in public. Understand? So I don't even understand what is, what is the meaning of this. Even something that is not harmful to anybody, that maybe they are protecting you know, the, the community. They are not even allowed to do this. But they are doing it. And you know, and the community is allowing them because you know they are manipulating everybody into thinking that maybe uh, I deserve what is going on with me. No, this is a lie. You know? you know, please, if you are watching this video, I want you, you know, to to say to say no to cyber psychological torture. It's not allowed. It's illegal. Cyber psychological torture which is dubbed no no touch torture it's just the same with physical torture this is what they have been doing on me for 20 for 21 years for the past 21 years you know and i'm suffering in front of people uh as for now i think i've, I've said a lot um see you in the next video Please, when you are watching this video, you know, don't forget to like the video and also please subscribe to the channel. I need your support. Thank you very much.